I'm a bit nervous for this one. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching The Silence of the Lambs. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome if you're new. Today, we're diving into a thriller horror type movie, and that is The Silence of the Lambs. A lot of people have said that this isn't necessarily a super scary movie, but I don't know. The cover looks kind of freaky, and from everything I've heard about it, I feel like I'm going to be pretty scared, but a lot of people have insisted that this is more of a suspense thriller, less so of a horror, so... I will see for myself <laughs> how this makes me feel. The only thing I know about this movie is that it definitely won quite a few Oscars, including Best Picture. I know that it was directed by Jonathan Demme, who I'm actually not too familiar with his work. I have seen the movie Philadelphia, but it was a long time ago. I remember really enjoying that though, so I'm interested to see his work in this film. I know that Jodie Foster is in this movie as well as Anthony Hopkins, and I'm curious to see how they did in this film. I'm watching this during broad daylight, luckily. <laughs> I get nervous when I have to watch scary movies in the dark, because that is a lot worse. I know a lot of people uh, insist that that's how I should do it. No, I'm scared enough in the daylight, okay? I watched The Exorcist at 10 a.m. Uh, when I did it for this channel, and I still had nightmares for the next three days <laughs> about The Exorcist, so I'm fine watching this movie in broad daylight. I think this is a good decision for me, <laughs> but all in all, I don't know too much about this movie. I just know what I've shared with you guys right now. I do know that there is a series that uh, is new called Clarice, which I think is based off of Silence of the Lamb, so I wouldn't be surprised if the lead character in this film is named Clarice, but I don't know the premise. I have no idea what happens in this movie or what it's even about. I just, there's probably gonna be a butterfly theme um, <laughs> if I had to go off of the cover, or maybe it's a moth. Is it a moth or a butterfly? Oh, it's a moth. Oh, that's creepier. Moths freak me out. Okay, so there's gonna be a moth theme probably. I don't know why, but <laughs> I will find out, I'm sure. Real quick, for those who don't know, I do have a Patreon page where you can catch my full-length reactions to everything we watch over here on this channel. It's always linked in the description bar down below, but you just need your own copy to watch along with me. Also, make sure to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. I always link those in the description bar below as well. You can follow me, see my exclusive posts that I do there that I don't do anywhere else, as well as uh, help me get to 10K on Instagram so I can do the little swipe up thing in the stories because I really want to be able to do that and uh, right now we're a little over 7k so we're getting closer and yeah I'd really appreciate it if you go and follow me over there but all in all guys I don't have too much to say I'm really uh <laughs> excited I guess is the word I'm excited to check this one out just because I think it's going to be a really well-made film uh, I really have a good time watching some Oscar award winnies winnies <laughs> I combined the word winner and nominee. <laughs> I like watching the Oscar award winnies over here with you guys <laughs> because it always just feels like a, a slightly more of an educational experience. You know, we get to dive into something a bit meatier, um, something that was well made and um, that's been revered in the film world. So I'm really excited to jump into this one, even though it's probably going to freak me out and maybe scare me. I think it'll be worth it. <laughs> so yeah, with that being said, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. What is she doing? She's climbing a rope. Looks like she's dressed for like some type of training thing. Wait, what is this? Oh, FBI Academy. Yeah, she is training. Okay. Does she have to wear that sweater for this program? I'd be dying. It's definitely uh, amping up the suspense already with this sequence of just hearing her breathing and the running and the music. Oh, she's got to climb this wall now. Okay. I wonder if I could do something like this. I mean, I don't think I'm in enough shape to do this whole course. I just wonder if I could climb this. Darling. Oh, what happened? Crawford wants to see you in his office. Oh, I guess it wasn't like a timed event. She was just doing it to stay in shape. I suppose it makes sense. They're all training at Quantico. So the training's really intense. Behavioral science. Interesting. I wonder what she does. She a scientist? Well, I guess it's FBI. I wonder what she does in the FBI, if she has a specialty or if she just wants to be like an agent. Oh, oh, all the crimes. It says Bill Skins Fifth on that newspaper. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, gross. 
FBI links skinning murders but finds no pattern. Bill attacks again. Oh, it's all the same guy. We're interviewing all the serial killers now in custody for a psychobehavioral profile. See, the one we want most refuses to cooperate. I want you to go after him again today in the asylum. Wow. He's really throwing her in there. Hannibal Lecter. <gasps> oh! Hannibal Lecter. Oh my god, this movie's about Hannibal Lecter? Believe me, you don't want Hannibal Lecter inside your head. Oi. I have a feeling she's gonna let him get inside her head. You know, we get a lot of detectives here, but I must say I can't ever remember one as attractive. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, dude. Simmer down. No staples or paper clips in his paper. Use the sliding food carrier, no exceptions. If he attempts to pass you anything, do not accept it. Oh my god, is she gonna remember all these rules? He can't just give these rules to her on like a piece of paper? He told you, don't get near the glass. Don't get near the glass, no pens and paper, or no pens and pencils, something about paper, soft paper only. Don't uh, let him pass her anything. And probably some other rules that I missed. <clears throat> you got this, Clarice. Oh God. Oh, what a creepy place to be. This is like really a dungeon, man. I've never seen a prison like this before. And he's the only one in glass. Passy of credentials. Wasn't, wasn't another thing. Don't get near the glass. Don't get near the glass. Oh my God. I'm so nervous about all these rules. Closer. No, don't do it, girl. Don't get closer. Oh my God. Girl, girl, back away. You're not real FBI, are you? I'm still in training at the academy. Why are you telling him all this? I feel like, oh, get back away from the glass. I hate this. Back away from the glass. Back away from the glass. I'm so anxious. <laughs> She's not supposed to like let in on herself at all, right? I'm so nervous that she's going to let him know too much. Busy hunting that new one, Buffalo Bill. How do you know about all this in your cell, man? What, do you get the newspaper down here? You send that through now. You're not, is she allowed to pass him the paper? Is she allowed to? She's allowed to pass him that, right? Yeah, she is. She's not supposed to send a pen though, or a pencil. Okay, oh, there's so many rules, I'm so scared. What is your father do? Is he a coal miner? Does he stink of the land? Oh, he got in her head so quickly. A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. <sighs> Liver's not even good. Like, even human liver. I did hear that there's a movie where, like, you see Hannibal Lecter and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> so that didn't actually surprise me. <laughs> I just didn't know this movie was about Hannibal Lecter. I don't know how I escaped that. I really had no clue what this movie was about. No! Back off the glass! You look deep within yourself, Clary Starling. Go seek out Miss Moffat, an old patient of mine, M-O-F-E-T. But she's really getting, she's already, he's already gotten in her head so quickly and she's already getting close to the glass. Like, I'm so worried for her. What's happening right now? Are we in a flashback? What is this? She's a kid right now? Oh, her dad was a cop. Aww. That's probably part of the reason why she wants to be a cop or FBI agent. Oh, was he a psychiatrist, Hannibal Lecter? I know she keeps referring to him as doctor. Whoa, what a close up. Miggs is dead. Miggs is dead? They found him at bed check. He'd swallowed his own tongue. Huh? He swallowed his own tongue? How is that even possible? I thought the yourself reference was uh, too hokey for Lecter, so, and I looked in the phone book and there's a yourself storage facility right outside of downtown Baltimore, sir. Man, you really gotta be clever to be like a detective. Like this. Oh God. Why'd she come by herself? Nobody could go with her. Oh, stuck. She got a crowbar in her car. Oh, a tire jack. Smart girl. Although I must say, if she's gonna climb under that, I'm scared. Oh God, I'm so scared for her. Oh, she's ripping her pants. Oh no. Oh, she got a cut. This is terrifying. This movie is so scary <laughs> already. Oh, lovely. I could not be a detective, man. I'm too much of a baby. What's under that? Uh, big American flag. What's under it? Oh, it's a car. Is there a dead body in the car? Is it a hearse? This looks like a hearse or some shit. Oh my God. It's a, oh, it's a mannequin. You guys. Oh my God, you guys. Ah, I'm sorry. Didn't he say it hadn't been open since 1980? Isn't that like 10 years? Was that head preserved just cause there was like nothing around to help? I, I don't understand how it was like that. She's sitting right by the glass. Girl, girl, stop sitting so close to the glass. Girl, it's awful. No, 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 no. He's gonna grab for her. He's gonna grab for her. No, no, I hate this. Close the thing. Your bleeding is that. Oh, okay. Oh, he's just being nice, I suppose. I don't know. Jesus Christ, close the, oh my God. Honey, back away from the glass, you're making me nervous. I'm offering you a psychological profile of Buffalo Bill based on the case evidence. Oh my God. I don't even know. I don't trust this guy at all, man. 
I don't know if he does know who it is. Our little Billy must already be searching for that next special lady. Wow, again with the, the scene change, wow. Oh, is this the girl? Oh my God, I see myself in her, no, please, no. Honey, keep driving. I don't care if this is your home, just back out and keep driving. Oh, I didn't think we were gonna see two cannibals. <laughs> Don't help him. Don't help him. It's a trap. It's a trap. Don't help him. Get in your apartment. <sighs> See? Okay. When I've been a to people on the street before, I, like to men who have asked for help, I just ignore them or I tell them to leave me the alone. This is why. Okay? Oh no, girl. You're too nice. You're too nice. I only help people I know. Or if I'm like, you know, with, with Tyler or something. Uh, get in a truck and, and I want to push it all the way up. No. No. This is such- Oh my god. Hey, are you about a size 14? She's too trusting. Oh, now her cat's gonna be all alone. I know that's not the most important part, but <laughs> I was just thinking about the pet. Is that his thing? Size 14 women? Is he only like going after size 14 women? But yeah, this is why I'm a to people on the street who want to talk to me because I've had men follow me home before like actually try to follow me home and I've had to get really creative on how to get away from them so I don't humor anybody keeps them alive for three days we don't know why so you have three days to find this girl a lot of you guys are like oh this movie's not that scary it's scary for me seeing all these women get murdered oh there's a funeral going on oh boy is she gonna go look at the body? Yeah, whose funeral is this? Was it a cop that died? Oh, now she's having flashbacks to when her dad died. Oh, I enjoyed that that change. I enjoyed that transition, like her walking up and then the way we say, saw her come over the casket as the change to when she was younger. That was well done. Why do you put that stuff on your nose? What does that do? Is that when you look at a dead body, you have to put that under your nose? Why? Is it because of formaldehyde or something? He's not wearing any. What's the funeral for? I'm, I'm so confused who that funeral was for. Was it for this woman? And she was just seeing her dad? Well, I better get back to that service. No, the service is for somebody else. I could never do this job, you guys. Like, this is one of the hardest jobs in the world to me. She's got something in her throat. Oh, oh God, what is it? I'm sure it's not a lever thing. Oh, I don't want to watch this. My gag reflex. Oh my God. What is it? What is it? The f is that? The f is that? Is it a moth larvae? That's a bug cocoon. It's a moth cocoon. That's where the moth thing comes in. I was wondering about that. Where, what museum, are they, what, are they in the Natural History Museum? Where are they? Oh, she's got to look at some moth cocoons, huh? You mean this is like a clue from a real murder case? Cool. <laughs> cool. Oh, I like these guys. They make me feel relaxed. <laughs> Everybody else in this movie has made me feel stressed. They make me feel relaxed. Except he won't stop staring at her. But he probably just doesn't see women a lot. Gotcha. What do you got, Rudin? <laughs> Instantly interested in the bug. <laughs> Better known to his friends as the Death's Head Moth. Death's Head? Only live in Asia. Asia? Now somebody grew this guy. Fed him honey and nightshade. Holy sh well, if that's not a, a big clue, you gotta look for someone who's buying a lot of honey and nightshade and see if you can track down somebody who maybe purchased imported eggs on the black market. Where are we right now? Oh my God, are we with Buffalo Bill right now? Oh, we are. He's got a dog? Oh my God, he's got a dog and a pit in his house. Young Catherine Martin, as we've said, is the only daughter of US Senator Ruth Martin, the Republican <gasps> junior senator from Tennessee. Oh, he's the daughter of a senator? I'm speaking now to the person who's holding my daughter. Oh, I don't like watching stuff like this. I know you can feel love and compassion. No, he can't. Probably not. He sees Catherine as a person and not just an object. It's harder to tear her up. Unless he's so psychopathic that he really truly doesn't care. This is just a routine follow-up on the Rasp case. He is my patient. I have rights. This is the number for the U.S. Attorney's Office. You discuss this with him or you let me do my job. Do you understand? Serves you right, jackass. I don't like you. The senator promises you a transfer to the VA hospital at Oneida Park, New York. With Oneida? It's pronounced Oneida. Oneida Park. That like pisses me off. Did he really get an offer like this? Catherine Martin dies, you get nothing. Oh, if Catherine dies, you get nothing. Interesting. Quid pro quo. I tell you things, you tell me things. Not about this case, though. Oh, no. That's what she's not supposed to do. She can't do that. Oh, she's gonna give in. Just lie to him. Don't lie, right now. Oh, oh, okay, never mind. One night he surprised two burglars coming out of the back of a drugstore. They shot him. It's so interesting that he wants to know all this about her, and yet he probably would still want to kill her and eat her skin. She had an object deliberately inserted into her throat. Was it a butterfly? Close. I mean, I guess it's a, 
The family, sure. Why does he place them there, Doctor? The significance of the moth is changed. Yeah, transformation, metaphor, meta, metamorphosis. <laughs> Dang it. After your father's murder, you are orphaned. What happened next? Wow, he's really greedy with everything he wants to know about her. I ran away. Hi, Clarice. Quid pro quo, doctor. Yeah, exactly. Good job, Who's listening right now? It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. Yes, you will, precious. You will get the hose. Okay, the fact that he likes his dog makes me think he's not, like, co a complete lost cause. Because if he has a dog and he is treating the dog well, he's got some sort of respect for, like, life. Like, helpless creatures. Oh, this guy. This guy was listening. I called Senator Ruth Martin. She never heard of any deal with you. What is up with this guy? What is up with this guy? Why is he ruining? There was a deal with Senator Martin, but there is now. Why is he ruining this? He left a pen there. He's looking at the pen. Who is Buffalo Bill? His first name is Lewis. Clean him up and get him ready to go. Oh boy. This is bad. Guys, we're just wasting time. That guy is such a jerk, the guy that worked at, in Baltimore. Oh, wow. He looks extra creepy like that. I understand the need for it, but he looks very creepy. The sign right here will have us a legal transfer. Where's his pen? <gasps> Hannibal has the pen? How the f did he get it? Hannibal got it. How the did he get it? Guys, how did he get it? That doesn't even make sense. Oh, there's the senator. Oh my god, I'm worried for the senator because Hannibal Lecter has a pen. He is in a straitjacket, but he somehow got the pen, so. Clarice Starling and that awful Jack Crawford have wasted far too much time already. I only pray they haven't doomed the poor girl. He doesn't care about her. Buffalo Bill's real name is Louis Fenn. I th this is all a lie, isn't it? Or is this true? Five for ten, strongly built, about 180 pounds. Hair blonde, eyes pale blue. Well, that physical description is is accurate. Oh, and Senator, just one more thing. Oh no. Love your suit. His eyes. He's so good at with the crazy eyes. His performance is incredible right now, man. <sighs> it's so unsettling. Well, it's only through my own unique insight into Lecter's mind that this breakthrough was possible. F you. See what an ego on this guy. Oh my God, you guys. I'm so nervous because he's got Hannibal Lecter has. Hannibal has a pen now, though. She's gonna get hurt because he has a pen. You gotta stay away from him, girl. You gotta stay far. Oh, he's in a cage. Okay, stay far away from the cage. Is he gonna do that creepy thing where he knows it's her without even turning around? Good evening, Clarice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Your anagrams are showing, Dr. Lewis' friend. Iron sulfide, also known as, as fool's gold. You were telling me the truth back in Baltimore, sir. Please continue now. Well, I've read the case files, have you? Everything you need to find him is right there in those pages. What is the first and principal thing he does? What needs does he serve by killing? He covets. Uh, the fact that we keep seeing him in a tighter close-up than her really feels like he's in her head, like you can feel it. Why did you leave that ranch? Oh, God. And one morning I just ran away. What set you off? Oh, uh, this guy. Oh, we're getting even tighter on him. Ah! I heard a strange noise. What was it? Oh, boy screaming oh my god she's so in his head it's insane or he's so in her head i mean oh now we're getting tighter on her too oh god what was it girl lamb lamb they were screaming the lambs were, screaming. They were slaughtering the spring lambs silence of the lambs i took one lamb and i ran away as fast as I could. she took one lamb oh wow this is a really traumatic childhood story what became of your lamb glory of course it was slaughtered hannibal wake up in the dark hear the screaming of the lamb. Do you think if you save poor Catherine, you could make them stop, don't you? Thank you, Clary. Oh, yeah, yeah. I hate it when he says thank you. Oh, God. Ew! Ew! Oh, I've never felt more violated by a finger grazing in my life. That was... Woo! Man, this movie does such a good job of making the audience member just feel so unsettled and creeped out. I feel like my skin is crawling. Is he drawing Clarice now with a lamb? Oh, great. Why does he have so much in this cell? Because he has the pen. I'm so worried. <gasps> What's that? Is that part of the pen? Oh, my God, you guys. He's going to kill these guys, isn't he? Oh, my God. Oh, no. How is he? He's going to kill with this one little thing in his hand? Oh, my God. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Oh, he's going to pick the lock. And they're not even noticing. Oh my God. Guys, is he gonna break out and go hunt like Clarice down? Oh Jesus, no one's watching. 
Don't you have a gun, dude? Don't you have a gun? Okay, all of you guys who said this is more of a thriller and not that scary, you lied to me. You lied. This is horrifying. You big fat liars. <laughs> I'm looking at you guys on Patreon, okay? And he's staying to finish the song. Where are the rest of the guards? Like, shouldn't there be a ton of people in this building? Oh my God, this is so bad. All right, at least they were paying attention to the elevator. These guys, these guys seem more competent than the ones that were, you know, giving him his dinner. Those guys seemed so lax. What the f did he do? Oh no, what did he do? Oh God. He made time to eat part of his skin in all this? Oh my god, I'm, this is gonna be so hard to edit for YouTube. Sergeant Tate, he's alive. Oh my god, I'm so scared right now. Oh my god, Pembry does not look good. Did he skin his face? This is just, oh my god. This is just awful, this is so awful. You guys, is he gonna go and find Clarice? I don't like this. We think he's on too. Are you serious? Is he on top of the elevator? He's up there? Oh my God, oh my God. I feel so clenched, like everywhere. Every muscle in my body is clenched. There's a gun by his hand, he's not moving. How are you gonna get him? What if he killed himself? Oh, he is not, a is he dead? Are they gonna think he's dead, but he's actually alive and he's a badass who doesn't react to getting shot? <laughs> I don't think that's possible. I think he killed himself. But like, why would he kill, I, I don't know. Why would he kill himself if, if he escaped? Man, I would not wanna have this guy's job right here leading the charge. Uh... Ah! Are you kidding me? <gasps> he won't come after me. Yes, he will. No, he will. She's not concerned at all about the fact that Hannibal Lecter is free. Holy. She's like, don't worry, I'm fine. I'm worried about Catherine. <laughs> I'd be a little worried about you too, honey. Oh my God, that was so insane. He was wearing that man's skin. Oh, uh, Frederica Bimmel. Hey. Belvedere, Ohio. First girl taken, third body found. Why? What does this guy do? He covets. We covet what we see every day. You know her. Oh, oh, this is how they're gonna piece it together. Guys, I can't, I'm so, I didn't think Hannibal Lecter was gonna get freed. This is really scary. Hannibal Lecter was a real guy, wasn't he? Frederica went into Chicago on the bus to see about a job. Her bedroom's how she left it. Wow, I will say the way this whole piece has been shot flows really well. I really enjoy the cinematography, just in terms of like the framing of the shots and the way they move. There's a secret compartment in that? Compartment in that? Really? Those are nudes? Well, not really, but partial nudes? Did she send them to someone or just took them? I don't... Who would have taken those photos of her? Wait a minute. Wait, this guy has a lot of women's clothes. What's going on? He's making himself a woman's suit, Mr. Crawford, out of real women. Subject's name is Jamie Gum, a.k.a. John Grant. See what you can dredge up in Belvedere. What did she know? Oh, is this her friend? Sewing was her life. Oh, because she was a sewer. Okay, okay. That's how it connects. He took after her with the sewing. All right. Oh, God, all the moss. Oh, no, he's getting ready to kill her. Oh, no. She got the dog. She got the dog. Wow, she has really turned the tables. What are these guys doing? Are they going to try to coax him out? And meanwhile, this is going on in the house? They're pretending to be a flower delivery. <laughs> Meanwhile, this is going on inside. Oh no. Oh no, he's got a gun. Oh my god, guys, hurry. Hurry. Hurry, please. He's got a gun. Wow, he's got his doorbell hooked up to a school class bell. That's kind of insane. I mean, that's kind of cool, but also, like, awful. Oh wow, they don't wait very long. I mean, I get it. They're trying to save someone's life. Again, with the transition. What a transition. No, well, Lippmans don't live here anymore. Oh! <gasps> no! No! <laughs> no! 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 Clarice. Yes, yes, Clarice. Oh my God, the twists and turns. And also we still have no idea where Hannibal Lecter is. Oh no, please. Oh my God, I don't, don't go in there, Clarice. Ah! Clarice, you have no idea, man. Oh, she's gonna see the butterfly on the wall or the moth or whatever. <gasps> she sees the moth and the sewing stuff. She's pieced it together. She pieced it together. This is so suspense inducing. Put your hands over your head. Put your hands in the back, thumbs up. Clarice, is he down there? Did you see him go down there? I'm so concerned. 
Clarice, now is not the time. I mean, sure, now is the time, but I really think you should probably leave the house and call for backup. Oh my God. Oh my God. Is he behind door number one? Door number two? We don't know. This is such a bad idea to do this by yourself. Like I understand she, her concern is saving Catherine above all else. That's what she wants to do. But this is such a bad idea. You should never go into a situation like this without backup. She's down there, but you don't know where he is. FBI, you're safe. No, you're not. Don't you leave me here. Catherine, shut up. She knows. Oh my God, how many doors are in this place. You guys, this is awful. This is actually my worst nightmare. This is why I can't do this job. And he let all of his moth babies out, which just really makes it even worse. Cause I hate bugs. <gasps> oh no, Catherine. He turned the power off. This is, oh my God, this is so stupid. He's right in front of you. Oh no. Oh my God. This is awful. I really see why this one best picture, this is, Insane, the way they're executing this with the night vision. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I hate this, 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 ah, no! Other way, Clarice! <laughs> she's much faster though, she's much faster. Yep, cause she's a agent. How did the lights come back on? Oh, she killed him, she killed him good. But you know what I'm worried about now? We caught this guy, but there's another cannibal on the loose. Hannibal Lecter, and I'm very scared about him as well. And uh, this movie's almost over, so I don't think we're gonna get a re resolution of that storyline. Oh look, she's she's wants to hold the dog now. Oh, good job, Clarice. Holy. <laughs> Objectively, they gave you way too much, girl, for somebody who hadn't even graduated yet. You had a lot on your shoulders. Starling. Oh, it's Hannibal, isn't it? I have no plans to call on you, Clarice. The world's more interesting with you in it. Now she's got a new demon, and it's him. <gasps> oh, oh, it's Chilton. Oh, it's gonna be Chilton. You know, Chilton kind of deserves it. <laughs> I don't really feel that bad about him eating Chilton. Wow, watching him follow like that and Chilton being paranoid and looking around, just a slow follow. So intimidating. <sighs> oh, wow. Um, so, <laughs> so those of you on Patreon who said that this movie was not that scary and it was more of a thriller, I kind of understand what you're saying, but also I think you're wrong. <laughs> this movie was absolutely terrifying in my opinion. And I definitely consider it a horror given the amount of um, blood and uh, cannibalism and uh, gruesome images that we saw. To me, it's a horror, but it's also a thriller and a suspense. I think if I had to classify it, I'd primarily would say it's a thriller suspense, but I found this movie far more horrific than other movies that I, like The Shining. To me, that is more of a heady thriller. This is very thrillery, but it's also got some horrific moments that are genuinely terrifying. So yeah, I don't necessarily agree that this is solely a suspense thr thriller, but I think that that might just be an opinion amongst some of the folks on Patreon. Uh, <laughs> I was a lot more scared watching this than I thought I would be based off of those comments. <laughs> <laughs> really terrified me, guys. Especially as a girl, uh, just watching films where women are the prey. Uh, not that they weren't the prey the whole time. I mean, Hannibal Lecter targeted some men in this movie, so it's really anybody is fair game. But yeah, these are the things I think about <laughs> when I walk on the street alone at night, which doesn't really happen as much anymore, but uh, that's why I've got pepper spray on my keychain, and it's why I am paranoid at all times when I'm getting into my car in a parking lot at night. I am a very paranoid person for um, this reason, for movies like this, as well as, you know, just real life experiences of women everywhere. But, <laughs> oh, this was scary. Anthony Hopkins did a wonderful job. Wow. I actually, real quick, <laughs> I know that this is stupid, but let me just look something up. Okay, so Hannibal Lecter was not a real person, but, he was based off of a real life person and the real life person was a doctor in Mexico by the name of Alfredo Bayi Trevino. Okay, so that makes more sense because seeing him escape in the end and having the suspenseful ending with this crazy twist where he escaped in an ambulance, that all felt very fictionalized to me and I, I was thinking that, I don't think that this guy was real, but when we started the movie, I thought Hannibal Lecter was a real person that actually existed. So. Now I know he wasn't, but he was based off of somebody uh, who did exist. So phenomenal, 
performance by Anthony Hopkins, truly phenomenal performance by Jodie Foster as well. She did a great job. Uh, really strong cast, um, all in all. Really great cinematography. I really enjoyed the way that this movie was filmed. It flowed so well and then would have these jarring transitions when you needed them. It utilized perspective really well. It really made me feel like Hannibal Lecter was in my head with the amount of tight close-ups they were doing on him and it progressively getting tighter and tighter sometimes. I, I really, really enjoyed the cinematography and uh, the direction in general. I really, really liked this movie and I can see why it won Best Picture as well as some other awards. All in all, I'm really glad I watched this one with you guys here for the first time. Let me know if you'd like to see more stuff like this. I know this was heavy, uh, gruesome, and uh, scary for me. But if you like this kind of thing, please let me know in the comments down below because I would definitely be open to watching more stuff like this, especially when the movies are critically acclaimed or have won awards and are highly regarded as really well-made films. I'm much more open to watching scary movies when I know that they're really well-made. I'm, I'm still, <laughs> I'll still watch some scary stuff for things like nightmares um, that maybe aren't, you know, classic films. But if I'm going to watch something scary, I'd rather watch something that's highly regarded as, a, as an incredible film. Things like The Thing, The Exorcist, Silence of the Lambs, The Shining, which I've already seen many times, but Alien to me, I've watched that on this channel, and to me, Alien is probably my favorite horror movie that I've seen in my life. And Ridley Scott is my favorite director in part because of Alien, also because of Gladiator. But I do enjoy watching scary movies if I know I'm gonna get some artistic value out of it so it can justify the nightmares that I'm gonna have. I'm not as curious to watch something that's just plain scary, but maybe not a really well-made film because then I'm just gonna have nightmares and I'm gonna feel like it wasn't worth it. So if you guys have suggestions for films like that, that were really well made, highly regarded as great classic films that maybe won Oscars or even just got a lot of attention, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd really be interested in checking some stuff out like that. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to. Until the next one, stay golden. Bye.